Oh, hello there. Welcome to Tea Time Tales with me, Nonny Warren. Now, I've just had my sandwiches and my cake, and as I always do at this time of day, I'm going to tell a story. Would you like to listen too? Wonderful. Then we'll all make ourselves comfortable, and I'll begin. Today is the sad tale of Navy Cherry. Navy Cherry set to sea and bobbed along the waves. She taunted all the fishes, for she loved to misbehave. Forgive me, for I am so sweet, she chortled with a grin. The fishes sighed and rolled their eyes and then began to swim. Navy Cherry laughed out loud and made her next mistake. She tried to tease the fish some more, but got caught in their wake. Please stop, please stop, I am so lost. I don't know where I am. The fishes stopped and up she popped, all giggles at her plan. Navy Cherry thought it fine to wind these fishes up. But the third time she attempted it, the largest ate her up. The fishes had not a clue what to do with such a thing. So all as one, as fishes do, they took her to their king. Navy yelled and stamped her feet inside the fish's belly. Then all at once in Neptune's court, he sicked up Navy Cherry. I'm sorry, sir, I am so small, she said with sudden fear. I didn't mean to cause offence. I don't know why I'm here. I'll go straight home and never roam this bright and wide blue sea. Neptune furled his ancient brow. That I guarantee. You'll leave my friends the fish alone and taunt them never more, then swiftly grabbed and chewed her up and spat her stone to shore. Navy Cherry sat quite still, shocked by the to-do, and as she pondered what she'd done, her roots silently grew. Oh no, oh no, I shall not grow, I'm far too young for this. But grow she did, into a tree whose berries feed the fish. Wasn't that a lovely tale? I do hope you can join me for another one sometime soon, but until then, this is me, Nonny Warren, signing off. So, tatty bye.